Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on auto launch. Let's understand the requirement of this auto launch flow scenario. So I will be creating two flows, one auto launch flow and one record trigger flow. And I will be calling auto launch flow through record trigger flow because auto launch flow cannot run itself. It needs to be called uh, by any other tool. So in this video, I will demo you how you can call auto launch flow through record trigger flow. So in record trigger flow, uh, like it will be executing whenever account is created and it will be creating a related contact. Then uh, I will be calling the auto launch flow and it will be creating a related opportunity on the account. So first of all, I'm going to create a new record trigger flow. So it will run on account when account is created, then actions and related record, and then I'm clicking on done. So here I'm going to create record. So create contact. We need to create one contact and uh, we need to use separate resources and literal values. So contact here I am having first name. So dollar record dot name. So I am keeping account name as first name and account name as last name, or maybe like test flow. Last name is test flow. Then here I am putting account ID so that contact will be linked to the newly created account. So newly created account information will be available in this dollar record variable. So with the help of that, uh, we are like setting these fields. And now I'm clicking on done, clicking on save. So saving it with this name, call auto launch flow in record trigger flow, clicked on save. Now I need to create one more flow and this will be auto launch flow. So here you can see it is of no trigger, like launches when invoked by Apex, processes, REST API and more. And this auto launch flow runs in the background. So it needs to be called by some other tool. So here I'm going to create a record. So I'm going to create opportunity, use separate resources and literal values. So this way I uh, provided these values, clicking on done. So this auto launch flow will be called by record triggered flow, right? So I am just activating it so that uh, I can pass the values. Now here I'm going to refresh this so that I can call that flow. So I am adding an action, sorry, I need to select subflow action. Selecting this. So this way we can call this subflow, uh, which we created here. The only drawback is like, uh, I can't pass any uh, parameter here as of now. So uh, to overcome this, like here, I need to create new resource as a variable. So I'm creating it as record ID, text available for input, done. Save as, save, activate. And now I'm refreshing it. So 
okay i didn't save that thing so again i am having that subflow so this time you can see uh, here we have this variable uh, record id available for input right so we will be using this so here i need to pass dollar record dot id so that drawback is now uh, resolved with this right so in case of record trigger flow record information will be automatically available in the dollar record variable but in case of auto launch flow if you want to receive something so you need to create resources and you need to enable this checkbox available for input now that you can use to link this opportunity with the account right so this way this auto launch flow is linked with your record triggered flow and it is receiving the values as well so i just saved as and created a new version activated it now it is also created i am just saving it and uh, i can activate it if you run this so you will see like one contact and one opportunity will be created automatically right so just activate and test it so this way i hope you understood like how we can create auto launch flow and how we can call it uh, through record trigger flow i also demoed you like how we can receive input from record trigger flow into auto launched flow through that resource